I think overall the team's uh, very well prepared and uh, mentally, you know, going forward, knowing what they've done uh, over the last few games, uh, very much prepared going into the game and, and displaying good confidence. I think uh, over the course of uh, the last 10 games or so, there's only been two games where our confidence has been knocked out a little bit. We played um, Baltimore at home, uh, second game in, in two days was difficult. But Baltimore being a very good team uh, made it very difficult for us. And, and I felt our heads were down a little bit. Um, and, and, you know, I don't know why, because they were a very good team. You know, then we played Tacoma and things didn't go quite according to plan. And the heads got down a little bit. But after that, I must say in training, uh, the guys have been great in picking themselves up and, and more focused and realizing, you know, what they can do and uh, w w when they're playing well. And so they are uh, definitely much more confident going into the games this weekend. You guys face Detroit tomorrow night. What uh, what are you taking? From, what are you letting them know about uh, Detroit and heading into that game uh, tomorrow night? Well, I, I've never seen them play. Just a little bit on uh, the the game film. Freddie has a little bit better idea, and we we just went over you know some of the things that they do. So uh, you know, just like most indoor teams, we know teams are going to come and press us a little bit. Maybe not all the time so we're definitely prepared for that and apparently they're very comfortable on the ball very good on the ball so you, we just have to be ready and prepared for that and but m most importantly we focus on what we do and what we do well after the cedar rapids win you, you talked to the team about the winning feeling and making sure you know that winning the, the win makes all the hard work worth it can you just kind of elaborate on that a little bit yeah, definitely. Um, it's like anything. In order, I'm, I'm a great believer if, if you never quit, you're going to win. Uh, obviously, result is a key in a professional game. We want to get results. So that's number one. We've got to get results. But it has to go back to your preparation. If your preparation isn't good, it's not just going to happen in a game. So all the hard work that the players put into it, the feeling of a victory, there's nothing that beats that feeling, especially when you've put a lot of effort into it. And, and it's a, a little reminder of the players, you know, after you win, of the work that they put into it and to know, you know what it really feels at the end and just to remind them always whenever they're playing to have that feeling of that victory of, of what it tastes like, you know, at the end of the game. So if ever they feel like they're going to get down or, you know, a goal is scored against them, they've got to keep thinking about what it feels like at the end of getting that victory. And, and like everything, winning is a habit. And it's, it's a good habit, and we want to. We, we obviously want good habits. You guys face Cedar Rapids on Saturday night. Uh, what can you take out of last week's win and move it forward to this game? Well, the, the one thing, obviously, from a psychological thing, you know, you beat them. It's a good thing, but uh, all bets are off when you come to a new game. Uh, things change. They're going to want, you know, to spoil our party at home. What we did for their final home game. So I, I know it's not our final home game, but still, they, they want to spoil the, the fact that we're at home and do well against us. So again, we'll, we'll be prepared for that. I think we know how, how they play now, which will help us as well. So, and again, if, if we're uh, confident and play the way that we know how to play, I'm, I'm comfortable that you know, we can do well against them. They also have a couple former ambush players on their team in Blake Ordell, Gordy Gerson, and Bobby Hurwitz. So that kind of adds a little bit of fuel to the rivalry here with them. Well, definitely. And, and I think, like always, though, I think you can't make it about the rivals of other players. It's about, you know, our fans here. We got to, we got to do our job for our fans. We're, so we're focused on that and not so much on the opposition. You know, yeah, there's always little added uh, features in there. But again, if we just focus on what we do and what we do well, uh, we, we can't really think about the other, you know, other players or where they've gone, that sort of thing.